player who might be quietly setting himself up to have an incredible postseason. Bo Bichette of the Los Angeles Dodgers. He's having a nice season, and of course, we know the Dodgers are one of the favorites to win the World Series this year, and if they do, Bichette probably will be a big reason why. What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. No, I've been away for a couple days. Uh, a lot of videos were pre-done up ahead of time due to a little medical procedure in my back. But I'm back, I'm back over time tomorrow night. A lot of interesting stuff going on in the hobby uh, this week so far. As you guys see from the intro video, Sports Card Investor makes a blunder on his video. Um, found this by somebody sent it to me off of Reddit. Uh, you guys can go through, look at and stuff like that there. But Bob Bichette of the Los Angeles Dodgers, huh? One of the very few baseball, I know there's a lot of players in baseball, but I mean, they're probably like the top 30 or 40. You probably should know what team they're on. And having a whole, probably, army of people that do the videos, look them over and that, didn't catch it. Wow. I know, it's embarrassing. We all blunder out there, though, eventually, you know, with with misspellings, and, or not misspelling names, but saying names are wrong. Maybe somebody got traded we weren't really paying much attention to during the trade deadline or free agency, so on and so forth. But just to go out there and edit your video like that, just, it just made it look a lot worse for him. I mean, he has been the center of attention ever since the Will Greer is a better buy than Kyler Murray type stuff that was going on for a while. But... Yeah, figured I would yeah, throw this up first because it was kind of the intro piece into the video now. And if you guys want to read through, I mean, there's like only 12 comments on to this. I'm sure his other videos probably have been heck with more. I think if I remember reading this correctly, this was posted during his live about market, market Movers X. I can't believe the price of Market Movers either. That's just high for me. I get the same thing on a BCP, but... I guess opposed to during that time frame, so I'm sure he got blew up in his stream all on to it. All right, let's move on here. Let me click on this off. We got lots to cover today. Lots, lots. So you guys can see, 11, I know it's my work is staying. I got stuff going on eBay, stuff we're looking at PSA. So, want to get this out there today. Let's get this one up. There we go. All right, some of the stuff on blowout cards, just so you guys know, blowout forums. I'll put links in the description. You guys want to go on and look at this stuff. And I had to email myself this yesterday, and a lot of this has been taken down since then. So everybody knows what the Kaboom cards are from Panini. Well, there's another company out there, Legacy, calling Legacy Kabooms, that are, you know, their own card creation. I don't know. The legal point and all that stuff, if uh, what all rights they violate or didn't violate, so I'm not really going to get into it. But I've seen a lot of these now popping up at card shows. And if you don't know what you're looking for, your thing is, oh, that's what the kabooms everybody's chasing. You buy the wrong one, you're going to be in a world of hurt. These are what the kabooms look like. They're on eBay, just put in uh, legacy kabooms. I mean, when you look at one, let me think here. Who has a back to it? Don't get me wrong, they look cool, but I'm trying to find, uh, let's just use Joe Burrow. As you can see, the back, they do have the NFL Shield, NFL PA thing on. That's the part where I'm not too sure if that's really legal to do that or not. But where the Panini should be at over here, it just has legacy here. So just be careful what you guys are buying out there. I don't know if they got, like, permission to use the NFL trademark, NFLPA trademark. Then you also got, you know, other conflicting pieces probably onto this as well, too. All right. Moving on, moving on. Next part. This is probably one of the bigger ones that I wasn't too aware of. Boom. There we go. <clears throat> They're saying... Now, this member here in Blowout said that he shipped to PSA in California. His return package came out of New Jersey. And, you know, we I thought about it. I'm like, well, was it like an autograph certification, something like that? It's not. $30 order popped yesterday, and it's shipped from their facility in New Jersey. So it's bringing a lot into question that we shipped our cars to California. Somehow they made it to New Jersey. Don't know. I haven't had any of this happen to me. But if it did, 
what happened if you know if these cards get damaged in route, get misplaced, whatever so be along the way? I mean, it just added you know security issues to me thinking about that. I could see if they would have said, hey, you know, we're wanting to move these cards there. Do you want to do it? Yes or no type deal. But it looks like their facility must be up in New Jersey, which I haven't seen anything from PSA on. As you can see, there there's a lot of talk in here about the variables. You know, the the damage that could come out, the losing of the cards. There's no visibility at all. <laughs> you know, and you don't know where it's being graded from. So I mean, I kind of got what they're saying, but you know, if I ship my stuff to a company in California, and all of a sudden I'm getting it now in New Jersey, I probably wonder what's going on there too. As you guys can see, there's a lot on to here. So there's an extra transfer from California to New Jersey. That's a problem. And if PSA is leaving itself at risk of losing damaging cards, everybody has the same, you know, notion and thoughts on to this. Again, none of mine have happened to go that way so far. I know all mine have shipped out of California. Um, maybe it was a test batch. Maybe, and this is just my thoughts on to, you know, they're starting to get their headquarters up up there and they're like, hey, you're going up there, take this stuff with you, you know, type deal. And it wasn't like, hey, FedEx took a hold of this, UPS or whatever. It was PSA transporting their own stuff across, hopefully. I mean, I, I don't know. But a lot of talk, though, about this on to here, you know. And recently I've been just seeing so many people saying I didn't, my card didn't, you know, look like that before it went in the holder and look they're saying it's a nine this should be a seven this corner wasn't damaged it just leaves a lot of speculation out there onto it and, huh I mean just something shocked me I mean does anybody else have any information on that if their facility open in New Jersey maybe I just missed I know I've been down a couple days figured somebody out there might have a little more info on to it before I you know dig a little deeper into it here all right, final piece, final piece, guys. Panini Redemptions. I'm glad that somebody cut and pasted this because I totally forgot to do it when I logged in. I believe this was two days ago, maybe three. The terms are used for redemption. So I know we talked about this before, and ITC is the identified trading card, and STC is your substitute trading card. So basically you get a redemption, a little scratch card. They call that an ITC. Well, this is the key points that were brought out of this. Each redemption card includes an expiration date. If you do not submit a redemption request prior to expiration date, it's now become void. Before, Panini used to be really, really good on this. If it was expired, they would somehow make it right for you. Does this mean that maybe Panini is being bought out? Don't know. But, you know, all signs of stuff like this change, it just makes a lot of people guess they put out their own theories you know or guesses work on to it but the other piece that's really different is if the ITC does not become available during a six month period and Panini elects to send an STC which is your substitute your only option is to accept it now again they're saying it's going to be uh, equal or greater monetary values compared to the market value the ITC of the time of the product release is determined by Panini and sole discretion. Which is kind of weird in a way because we all know how the market, or I'm sorry, card prices shift. See, I've been hearing that word market so much it comes out of my mouth constantly. So we'll just use for an example. Who was Luca had some redemptions his rookie year, I do believe. So, at the time, at the release, the stuff might have been really low. And now at the time, you know, when it, you say you pull it, you redeem it, and then you have to wait the six months, it dramatically drops. I don't like that. I think it should go off the value of the date you redeemed it. But what I'm reading here is a substitute will be of an equal or greater monetary value as compared to the market value of the of the ITC as of the time of the product release as determined by Panini in its sole discretion. Now they can supply two or more, blah, 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 and all that. I just don't really agree with the piece that we're going to value the card as well as released. Now it could work either way. You know, I could have one at release, it's selling for crazy money, and then the guy goes out there, breaks his leg, or does horrible, say, 
Oh, what's some of these new rookie quarterbacks that just come out this year? Uh, we'll use Matt Corral. He goes out there. We'll just say he was like the super hype dog. He was worth, you know, you know, my car was worth five thousand. Now it's worth a thousand. I'm getting five thousand at Panini. Woohoo! You know, cool. But I think it works either way. But I'd like the piece better. And if if somebody from Panini is listening, that the day you put that redemption in that's where you get your market value at of that card because now you know whether it goes up or down you can say hey they put it in on September 29th this was the market value on that day you know we, they waited six months the car dropped immensely in price or it could go up immensely but it would just save a lot of headaches across the board just my thoughts I don't know what do you guys think of the whole thing on to I don't know how many people actually read or seen this or still has Panini Redemptions out there. I actually have one now. I think I hit it in one of Jacob's breaks. I don't even know who it is now. Houston Rockets cards, all I can remember offhand. But we'll see. I don't know if this is the tell all sign now that Panini is going to be uh, put up for sale and somebody like Fanatics is buying them or not. No idea. I'm sure there'll be more coming out at the end of the year on this. This could be all preparations and stages have to be set in stone that a buyer might want ahead of time done. No idea. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Catch you guys live on overtime tomorrow night. I believe Joey is going to try to make it. And then Cora from uh, over on Discord was talking about wanting to jump or come on too. So I got to send him an invite. And again, if anybody else ever wants to come on overtime, you guys know I'm doing it. You're free. Just give me a holler. I'll email you over the invite. All you got to do is have a Zoom account. It's free. I have the paid part that's doing all the broadcasts, and it's just the invite over. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. Good weekend. Uh, a lot of stuff will be coming out October 1st. More pop reports. Where we're at on all these gradings and all that stuff. All right, guys. I'm out.